Did you know there's a tiny molecule that could transform medicine, skincare, and even how we fight infections? It's called a peptide. And these little powerhouses are shaping the future of science, health, and beauty. Maybe you've started to hear about these. Well, stick around and by the end of this video, you'll know everything you need to know about peptides and if you should be using them. Peptides are short chains of amino acids. Think of them as the building blocks of proteins, but smaller and more specialized. Each chain is held together by peptide bonds, or strong links that give peptides their structure. Peptides are like nature's messengers, delivering critical signals throughout your body. They keep your systems running, fine tuning every process in your body. If peptides are nature's problem solvers, how do we get more of them? The answer lies in two worlds, the body's natural systems and cutting edge lab technology. Your body naturally produces peptides as part of daily life. DNA acts like a blueprint, directing cells to link amino acids together into peptide chains. Examples include things that you've heard of. Think insulin and endorphins. Scientists can also recreate peptides in labs for specific uses, like medicine, research, or cosmetics. Synthetic peptides can be made faster, more precisely and in larger quantities than natural production. But whether nature or science builds them, peptides are all about precision. Modern lab technology lets us create peptides that solve real world problems, from life-saving medicines to anti-aging skincare. So let's see how peptides are changing the game in medicine, beauty, and more. Peptides are revolutionizing healthcare as therapeutic agents. We have peptide-based cancer treatments, Certain peptides target cancer cells with precision, minimizing damage to healthy tissue that other treatments can cause. Peptides also play a role in creating targeted vaccines for viruses and improving diagnostic tools. And then the big one that you've probably heard of, peptides for weight loss. GLP-1 receptor agonists are peptides that regulate appetite and blood sugar by mimicking natural hormones like glucagon-like peptide 1. These are being used to help treat diabetes. They slow digestion, making you feel full longer. And they also help the body release insulin more efficiently after eating. But these medications have become popular for weight loss. Medications like Wegovy and Exempic are training for weight loss even among those without diabetes. Clinical trials are showing significant weight loss when they're paired with lifestyle changes. These are endorsed by celebrities and influencers, and the treatments have started to spark debates about accessibility, ethics, and whether they're a shortcut to weight management. These peptides do work, but they aren't magic. Diet, exercise, and professional guidance are still critical for sustainable long-term results. You have peptides like palmitoyl tripeptides, which stimulate collagen production, firming the skin, and reducing fine lines. Matrixyl, which is a blend of peptides that promote skin repair and elasticity. And copper peptides, which are known for their ability to improve skin healing and reduce inflammation. These peptides work by signaling skin cells to increase collagen and elastin production, which reverses the signs of aging over time. They also strengthen the skin barrier, improving hydration and protection against environmental damage. If you're wanting to use these, look for peptide-rich serums and creams with clinical backing, such as those from brands like The Ordinary, Skin Cuticles, or Drunk Elephant. While these peptides do deliver visible results, they work best as part of a well-rounded skincare routine, and claims like instant wrinkle remover are exaggerated. Peptides need time to show results. Peptides are also being used in fitness and recovery. We're seeing things like growth hormone releasing peptides. These stimulate the release of growth hormone to aid in muscle recovery and fat loss. Examples of these would be epimoralin and CJC1295. We also see BPC-157, which is a peptide shown to accelerate tissue repair and reduce inflammation, especially for injuries like tendon or ligament damage. These are often used by athletes for quicker recovery. Finally, we have peptides like IGF-1, LR3 that are being promoted for enhancing muscle recovery. The controversy here is that many of these peptides are not FDA approved for fitness purposes and are sold as research chemicals. That means use without medical guidance can lead to misuse, side effects, and some legal concerns. Fitness peptides do hold potential, but they're often overhyped and underregulated. So make sure you're seeking professional advice and focus on proven treatments. Peptides are everywhere on platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Influencers rave about their anti-aging effects, fitness benefits, and weight loss properties. Some common claims that you'll see are things like lose 10 pounds in a month, erase wrinkles overnight, or build muscle without lifting a finger. But what you need to watch out for are over-the-counter products, Many peptide supplements marketed online are not regulated, making their safety and their efficacy questionable. B12 
Be wary of products that promise rapid, dramatic results. They often lack clinical evidence. So how do you navigate these trends? Research the science behind specific peptides before you buy them. Look for products with clinical backing or FDA approval and consult with a medical professional before trying injectable peptides or supplements. Peptides are trending because they fit perfectly into modern health and beauty culture. They're scientifically sophisticated and they're super easy to market. They promise results that align with popular goals like weight loss, anti-aging, and muscle recovery. And the rise of wellness influencers and direct-to-consumer brands have amplified their appeal. Peptides are everywhere. And while many have real science behind them, some trends are getting ahead of the evidence. Always prioritize clinically backed peptides and consult with professionals for the best results. So just a quick recap, for weight loss, GLP-1 agonists are science backed but they do require lifestyle changes. For skincare, peptides boost collagen and elastin, but they take time to show results. For fitness, recovery peptides like BPC-157 are promising, but require medical supervision. So make sure you're separating hype from science with careful research and expert advice. The bottom line, peptides are incredibly effective and versatile, but like all cutting edge tools, they come with a few challenges. As research improves, we're moving closer to making peptides safer, more stable, and more accessible for everyone. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next deep dive into the science that shapes your health and wellness. If you have questions about peptides, drop them in the comments. We love hearing from you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.